hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to save your website as pdf here on squarespace let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time on squarespace i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go Saving your Squarespace website as a PDF can be useful if you want to share a static printable version of your site or specific pages. While Squarespace doesn't offer a built-in feature for exporting a site as a PDF, of course you can easily create one of those by using these methods. Number one is once you are logged into your account, hover to the upper right corner where you can see your profile icon and click on the account dashboard this will lead you to your website builder editor and number one is going to be using the browser's print to pdf feature all right now for example this is the one that you wanted to uh, save as a pdf all i have to do if you are using the windows i want you to press Control plus p on your keyboard or command plus p, p if you're using mac to open the print dialog now you would be forwarded this in this uh, dialog box wherein you can save as pdf or have uh, the option for the microsoft print to pdf so whichever you prefer all right now what will happen is you would be uh, have uh, this option too is it going to be including all pages or odd pages only you see that you have all of these options even pages only or if you wanted to have a custom pages you can do that as well for example is it going to be one to five page eight only or 11 to a 13 you have also the orientation is it going to be portrait or is it going to be landscape depending on your preferences all right you can choose the color is it going to be color printing in color or black and white or like a gray scale if you hover to the more settings, you have the paper size. Is it going to be letter, tabloid, legal, statement, executive, A3, and a lot more. You also have an option for the uh, pages per sheet. Is it going to be like 2, 6, 9, and 16? For the margins, is it going to be none, minimum, or custom? So you have all these um, adjustments that you can play with in the scale you can put in custom if you want if you have like a printing background or technical expertise you are welcome to do that but I'm gonna choose the color for now that's one way for you to print it now I'm gonna click on exit uh, for now I'm gonna cancel this one click on exit I'm gonna show you another option we're in if you are not comfortable uh, Printing this or saving this, uh, uh, printing this to your computer. I'm going to click on exit for now. I'm going to hover to one of my pages. For example, I want to save this specific um, page, this one right here. To PDF. All right. Control P again. I'm going to save it as PDF. All right, in my local computer and click on my local computer click on save now i opened up my canva account because the pdf that i have saved on my squarespace website i'm gonna share it to one of my collaborators if you're working with multiple freelancers collaborators team members within a project or an organization you might want to do with that all they have to do is send the collaboration link for example um only Anyone with the link can access this one. I'm a copy link. And of course, you can choose the permission level. Anyone can view, anyone can comment, anyone can edit. Or you can also choose all of these options like create a public view, template link, or you might want to save that to uh, Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Drive, Dropbox. And you can share in social media, Instagram, Facebook page, Twitter, TikTok, email, WhatsApp iMessage, Facebook Messenger, and a lot more. Now, another option for you to be able to save your website as PDF is using this web platform. It is called HT Track Website Copier. All right. Now, 
it allows you to download a World Wide Web website or your website from the internet to a local directory, building recursively all directories such as getting HTML, images, and other files from the server to your computer, especially your uh, Squarespace website, because HTTrack arranges the original site's relative uh, link structure. Now, all you have to do is click on the download page, and of course, from here, you might want to choose the file that you wanted that is compatible with your local computer, all right? So uh, Windows 2000 to Windows 10 and above, install a version and this one. But for now, they are recommending this one. I'm going to click on it. Once it's uh, downloaded, just click on continue and follow the on-screen instructions. Right, accept the agreement and click next. Wait for it to load, and that's that. Launch it now. From here, all you have to do is click on next. All right, the project name is all right, and of course, that includes your website you're gonna save a pdf copy of your website click on next and here we need to enter the address of your website that you're working on squarespace so i'm gonna switch over to my squarespace account i'm gonna log in again and click on the account dashboard and i'm gonna make sure that i'm working with a specific site for example this one i can copy this or just head over and copy the url whichever you prefer and then switch over to the HT tracker. And from here, all I have to do is click on that. And as you can see, you have the option now to. Now here, you have all these actions. You can download the website. You can download websites plus questions. Get separated files. Download all sites and pages. Multiple mirror. Test links and pages. Bookmark test. Continue interrupted download or plus update existing download. Once you are happy with that, you can also set your options. But I suggest you do not deal with this for now if you don't have any coding experience or technical expertise. Just click on next. All right. And of course, you have all of these options. Disconnect when finished. Shut down PC when finished. Unhold. All right. And save settings only. Do not launch download now. Once you're happy with that, all you have to do is click on finish. All right. And always remember that the version of your website you're saving should look the way you want. If you're saving the desktop view, but your browser is narrow, it might save a mobile version instead. So you can adjust the window size accordingly. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.